So today I'm gonna to show you something that I've been doing wrong this whole entire time and I honestly wish I would have known about this many years ago. So I don't know if you've ever done this where you take a project and then you end up sharing it with an editor or you're transferring it from one computer to another and then this happens. It can be very frustrating because now you have to go back to the original computer, locate all of the missing files. It's a mess, it's happened to me many times but today I'm gonna to show you a simple and easy method where you can transfer your project files, including your footage, all of your assets, literally with one click of a button. Now, before I show you guys this awesome method, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Dell and talk about their amazing XPS 17 laptop a little bit later. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's say I'm editing this project and I need to have Connor take this home to finish the color grade. Now normally the way I would do this is I would go into our server, locate the project and then transfer this over to an external hard drive. The problem with this is that normally we're using different assets, transitions and stuff that are not located inside this project folder but are in our server. So when he takes this home and opens up the project, there's gonna be a lot of missing assets. So let me show you the correct way to do this. So you go into Adobe Premiere, and then what you do is you go to File, Project Manager, and you'll notice that it's showing me right now two different sequences. So we record videos in English and also in Spanish. Right now, I only wanna focus on the English edit, so I'm only going to select the English sequence. Now, towards the bottom, you wanna make sure that you have collect files and copy to new location selected. Basically, you're telling Premiere that you're gonna aggregate all of these files and you're gonna copy them to this new location. Well, what is this new location? This is where you go to the destination path. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on browse. And in this case, I'm going to select my external hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and hit choose and it's ready to go. Now I can even calculate the space. So this is a one terabyte external hard drive. And if I hit calculate, it will tell me how much storage I'm going to utilize. In this case, it's telling me that it's going to take about 155 gigabytes. So my one terabyte is perfectly fine. Now there's other options here on the right hand side, but this is one that I really love using and that's exclude unused clips. Now you may wanna use this because for example, if we shoot 200 B-roll shots, but let's say my project is done and I only utilized 50 of those shots, why would I transfer over 150 clips to Connor when he's not even gonna use it? So what this does is it's telling Premiere, hey, the clips that Armando did not use, don't include them in that transfer and we're gonna save on storage. I love using that and that's something that you may or may not wanna use depending if you need to utilize those video assets that are not directly in your timeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now it may tell you this operation requires the project to be saved. This just means that I didn't save the project prior to doing this, so don't worry about that. This may take a couple of seconds, maybe a few minutes, depending on how big your project is. Basically it's analyzing the project and it's going to go ahead and transfer everything over. But for the sake of this demo, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward this. So now that everything transferred over, I do wanna point something out because I selected exclude unused clips, I was able to save roughly about 240 gigabytes of storage. And you have to think about that. That's a lot of wasted time if I would have transferred all of those files over, especially because I'm not even going to utilize them. So let's go ahead and take our external hard drive, go to our new computer and finish up the project. Okay, so I have my external hard drive plugged into my mobile setup. Now before I finish up the project, let me tell you about this dope new laptop from Dell. This is the Dell XPS 17 complete with an NVIDIA RTX 2060, which means that it will shred through your video projects no problem. Now this laptop has many standout features, but one of the greatest is this beautiful UHD HDR edge to edge display. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And it's not just pretty, it's also very functional because it's actually a touch display, which I wasn't expecting and I think it's pretty cool. Another favorite feature of mine is that it has a full SD card slot. I mean, this is something that has been quickly disappearing on a lot of modern computers. In fact, I'm actually glad that they're thinking of us creators and are including it in a computer like this. Seriously guys, if you're looking for an amazing computer Computer for editing, especially color grading HDR content, definitely check out the XPS 17 from Dell. Okay, let's go ahead and finalize this project. 
Now, if you notice, there is a folder called copied Narbox 3.0, and that's the folder that we copied, obviously, from the other computer. Now, when we go inside this folder, you will see that there's a bunch of files, including the preview file. So there is an option that you can select, which I did enable, that allows me to transfer over all of those preview files, which makes it obviously easier to edit. And if I scroll down, you can see that there is an xt4 log LUT file. So this is something that's really cool that I really like. So if you're doing editing on a computer and you're doing this transfer, even the LUTs get transferred over, which I really like because a lot of times I have custom LUTs and if I'm handing it over to Connor, he doesn't have to worry about transferring these LUTs over from our server. So same thing with you. If you're having an editor do all the work or the color grading part and you have custom LUTs that you're using, this is actually a really good feature. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the project, which will load pretty quickly because all of the assets are in this folder. So it usually takes anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds and everything will pair without you having to really worry about anything. Um, there it goes, boom, done, <laughs> really nice. Now, just to show you, I know that this is a Fuji X-T4 video file, if I go into the master, you will see it says input LUT auto refresh because it's auto refreshing that LUT from that folder, which is great. And of course, if I come down here and I am doing a screen recording, even playback is gonna be very smooth because of the Mercury playback engine. It is taking advantage of that NVIDIA GPU that is inside this computer, which is fantastic. So after you're done with your color grade and you're pretty much uh, ready to export this bad boy. This is really neat because this computer has that NVIDIA uh, GeForce 2060. It will take advantage on, of NVEC. And if you guys have not seen that video, I highly recommend you watch it because export times are ridiculous. Definitely check out that video. I will leave it linked down below. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you guys the proper way to transfer your project from one computer to another. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching. And you guys will catch me in the next one. Adios.